Hello and welcome back to AMBV. I'm Casper and today we're going to play with a new gadget for the 280Z Daily Driver Project. Today I am going to be installing the 123 Ignition Bluetooth Distributor in the 280Z project. Now that's a really bizarre name and it's really hard to say, but actually the company is 123 Ignition and the unit is actually a Bluetooth distributor. It fits exactly like the factory distributor onto the keyed oil pump shaft on the 280Z, but it has the ability to control the timing curves with an internal computer and be controlled via Bluetooth. The unit itself is way overkill for this car, especially a daily driver that's essentially stock. But in the future, whenever this car eventually needs a rebuild, I would like to have much more control over the ignition timing. Plus, the old distributor was having some issues, and this was an excuse to drop way more money on a fix than I really needed to. So let's go ahead and go out to the cold part of the shop and get this installation going, and I'll describe what I'm doing and what I'm hoping to achieve. the new distributor is as easy as installing the factory distributor. The Z cars have a keyed shaft that the distributor connects to. So you can't actually install it the wrong way around. It only installs one way. Now the instructions for the 123 Ignition Bluetooth distributor unit describe a pattern of operation that suggests that you remove the cap on the old unit, turn it to top dead center, remove the unit from the car, install the new Bluetooth unit, and then rotate in the opposite direction of your normal distributor rotation the entire body until a green light activates, telling you that you've reached the point of engagement for the first cylinder. The problem with that is, trying to do that multiple times over, I had no success with it on this car. Ultimately, what I ended up doing was emailing the manufacturer and asking what they intended me to do with it. And their suggestion was what I was going to do anyway, which was hook a timing light to the unit and just start turning it until it finally would start on the car. It looked to me like it was about 25 to 45 degrees off, but I think it might've actually been closer to 90 degrees off by the time I turned the base of the unit to get this car to start. So, it says you don't need a timing light, but I would not take that as gospel. It's probably better to have a timing light. distributor is working in the car and the car is running better than it was before. I don't know if it's entirely that the new distributor is that much better than the factory distributor or that it just cleaned up a lot of odds and ends because I don't know that the vacuum advance really worked on the old distributor. The timing is set to 15 degrees base with a total advance of 35 which is pretty close to what everybody kind of said these cars should be. I'm idling a little high right now because I'm still playing with some of the EFI tuning on the idle itself but the car in general seems happier and I will go ahead and get some driving and a couple weeks of living with the system out and do a follow-up video in the future. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.